I made a lot of mistakes while I was making this pixel art piece. The idea was simple. Dress Godzilla as Mega Man X, Kong as Zero, and throw it up on the internet. Should be easy. But I have over seven hours of recorded video footage of this process and all the mistakes I made. So to save you time with your pixel art, I'm gonna break this down into the four big mistakes I made, what I did to correct those mistakes after I made them, and then I'll end it with a cool little mock screenshot of the game because I am actually pretty proud of how this thing turned out. Let's get to it. Hi, I'm Andrew, and mistake number one was not sketching out the idea before I did it. I've said in other videos that I like to sketch out my drawing in Procreate first, and then I'll import that in and use it as a reference photo. This time I just decided to draw straight in Pixaki, which should be fine. You can see that I'm sketching in Godzilla right here. But what you'll notice I'm not doing is sketching out Kong. If you're gonna do a dynamic piece like a kaiju fight, it's a good idea to know what both characters are doing so you can actually plan the poses correctly because Godzilla's pose does not work. What I'm going for here is for him to kind of be blasting his atomic breath over his shoulder. Like maybe he was minding his own business and Kong snuck up on him from behind and he looks over his shoulder and shoots at him. But that's not really a Godzilla-ish movement. He's a bulky boy. He can't twist like that to attack. He probably would have just done like a little tail whip, like a kerjow. Mistake number two, not using references. I have a ton of Godzilla figures, like a lot. I also have a phone, which has access to the internet. There's a lot of pictures on the internet, and I don't know if you guys know this, but some of them are Godzilla. I didn't use any of them. I just figured, I know what he looks like. I'll figure it out. Turns out, I'm an idiot. This thing looks like a dinosaur from a birthday party. You know, the kind who gets beat up. I hated this stage of my drawing so much that I took a break. And when I came back and started working on it again, I didn't even press the record button. That's a YouTuber mistake, not an artist one. So here's a huge jump in quality that's still somehow terrible. Why is he Reptar? Why did I make him so green? Why is his tail so thick? Also, if you look at pictures of Godzilla, he doesn't really do clenched fists. And even so, one of his fists is weirdly tiny. Why'd I do that? You can also see that I tried to do another pose for him. It still didn't work at all because he was giving weird monkey man lizard vibes. So I went back to the original pose and started fixing it. You wanna know how I fixed it? I grabbed one of my damn Godzilla toys and I looked at it. First, I fixed his tail by adding in those weird little segments that Godzilla has and tapering it off. Then I fixed his colors because Godzilla is usually actually black. I don't know why we think of him as green. Maybe like navy green at best, is that a color? But he's normally black, so I went for like a grayscale look instead. And then I fixed the fists. And then I fixed the tail, again. Been a lot of time fixing things that I wouldn't have had to have fixed if I had just used a reference to begin with. At this point, I thought I was finished with Godzilla. I wasn't, but we'll get to that later. But it was time to give him someone to fight. Let them fight. This time, I actually sketched out different poses before I committed to anything. Kong will be using his ax from the movies to smack away Godzilla's atomic breath. Eventually, I imported a spread of Zero from the Mega Man Zero series as a solid reference. That's called learning. From there, I imported the sketch into Pixaki along with a different reference image of Zero, this one being his look from Mega Man X3. It took me a while to get some of the shapes right, especially his helmet, but that's just a matter of perseverance and patience. But do you know what will help you not need so much patience? Avoiding mistake number three, not maintaining a consistent style. I think I had a pretty good idea for drawing the axe slash attack. I drew in an oval in blue, drew another oval in white on top of it, selected the white, and cut it out. That gave me a pretty good crescent shape. I tried the same thing to get the colors for the slash, uh, but that didn't really work. It was too jagged, I couldn't get things lined up like I wanted them, so I spent a very long time redoing them and adjusting, trying to get that curve just right. Then I drew in the axe head, and it hit me. Not the, not the axe. I based the slash on Zero's attack in the Mega Man Zero series, but this is supposed to be a parody of the Mega Man X series. The slashes look different in those games. That may not matter to most people, but to me and my pedantic little self, I was trying to make a specific style and then I did a thing that wasn't that style. So I had to rework the entire freaking slash. I reshaded the entire thing. I actually really like the way they make the slashes in this game have their own after trail within the slash itself. It's unique, so I took my time again and actually got it right the second time around. Once I got Kong basically finished, mistake number one came back and reared its ugly head. Again, the whole I didn't sketch out this whole thing first thing, yeah. Godzilla is too small. He's supposed to be the powerhouse of the two, and I made Kong bigger than him. I kinda knew this was happening the whole time, but I didn't do anything about it, and that was due to mistake number four. Not listening to yourself when you know you can fix something, but you don't wanna take the time to do that because maybe it'll be okay. 
aka pride and laziness. There comes a point on occasion when an artist recognizes that what they're doing is not working. And what that artist should do, instead of committing hours to the thing that they already know won't work, is they should simply not do that thing. Godzilla isn't known for being limber and twisty. He's a big tall boy who shoots atomic fire. At first, I tried just scooching his body parts around to make him taller as an easy fix, but it wasn't an easy fix. And then finally, finally, I committed to redrawing this guy. I erased the entire bottom half of his body, and I sketched in some options and started blocking it in. And y'all, it immediately looks better. It's so much better. I gave him big Mega Man-ish feet, hunched him forward a bit, and now he looks like Godzilla. And then because I was on a roll, I swallowed my other pride point, and I went and worked on Kong some more. Look at his dumb Thanos looking face. The lines on his chin were supposed to be a beard, and it didn't look like one. So I redid the shading, puffed out his cheeks, and made him into the angry ape he was always meant to be. Unless you actually like care about the lore, he's not, he's not an angry ape, he's, he's a good boy. The mock-up screenshot. I wanted to see what this would look like as a real game, but I am not a master background artist. If you watched my video on learning pixel art, you'll know one thing that I said was that you should just do sprite edits to learn. That counts for background shit too. The Spriter's resource has entire level maps for Mega Man X1 on their website. So I took the intro stage from the first game, shrank it way down, and tossed the kaiju on top. For the sky layer, I did not shrink it way down, because tiny clouds would have looked weird. Kept them big. I took the existing health and weapon meters from the game, and drew in new Godzilla and Kong icons, and just when I thought I was done, I decided it didn't look cinematic. So I moved the clouds down and let the dark sky take up more space. Coupled with a shrubbery at the bottom of the screen, it's like a nice vignette. So there you go. There goes Tokyo. Go, 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 Godzilla. As a reminder, mistakes to avoid. Not sketching out concepts in advance. Not using references. Not maintaining a consistent style. Being a prideful dummy who won't just go redo shit when it's bad. Hope you guys enjoyed the tours of my errors. If you've made big dumb blunders before, talk about them in the comments and help some people out. And avoid the biggest mistake of all, not liking and sub and avoid the biggest mistake of all, not liking and subscribing. <laughs> Ring the bell. Please like and subscribe.